Hey guys, how are things going? So I'm here to do another Hellmouth at the Megaplex kind of video. And uh, what's today's video? Well, it's going to be a little bit different today. So we're actually going to be talking about not a horror movie, but just a movie I thought was pretty intriguing and pretty interesting. Yeah, so this movie is called Sound of Metal. Yeah, this movie had this uh, intriguing factor to me because like, I am a music fan. I'm a huge music fan. I'm actually going to do more music-related stuff on this channel because I originally started it out as a music and horror movie channel kind of mixture. Um, I might do something off the wall like movies and like music and stuff, but for those are like the general two plat things I'm doing on this platform. And um, I'm actually on my Instagram. I post my record collection. I'm actually posting my whole record collection and CD collection now. Just a cheap plug. So anyway, so let's get into this movie. So this movie is essentially about this drummer, this metal band. It's more like a noise band. I don't really know how to categorize the genre, but it's definitely noise. And I mean that sincerely. Like it's like the genre of metal is noise. Anyway, so it's about this drummer in this metal band, and he just he just starts to go deaf, and it's like a really big, like eye-opening experience for him because he's so frustrated, and that he wants it to get fixed so he can go back to his normal life as a musician. Because you need to listen or hear to be a musician for the most part. So that's just like the biggest like obstacle for him because like his hearing just gets worse and worse and. Obviously, the more he plays, it's just going to make it even more devastating for his hearing to even continue being a musician. So his girlfriend, which is a singer in the band, um, basically convinces him to go to this community, like, help center for, like, the deaf. Like, it's kind of like a community. Like, I like to think of, I thought of it as, like, a church retreat, but for deaf people. It's not necessarily, like, for a church, there is, like, a church element into it, but it's not bad. It's just in the sense of, like, it's a community of deaf people living together to, like, basically do, like, chores around the house and all that shit. And for the most part, it's just him trying to come to grips with the fact that he's deaf and it's he's never going to hear again. And I thought that was a pretty interesting take because in the movie, when I'm watching it, it's... You see it in sub. It's in subtitles, like even in English. It's like I'm reading, I'm watching. I'm like, why is this in subtitles? And about midway through the movie, when they actually start to like do sign language, it makes sense to me because this movie's also for like deaf people. So in the beginning, there's like subtitles when they're speaking English, no big deal. But it's interesting because. When he doesn't know sign language, the majority of the audience doesn't know sign language. They don't do any type of subtitles for the sign language. It's supposed to be like in his like viewpoint of like he has no idea what this is. But once he starts to actually use sign language, that's when we see subtitles, which I thought that was actually pretty interesting and pretty cool. So it's like we're in his view his shoes when he's going through the whole experience of it, which is Pretty unique, I must say. And, um, so yeah, that's pretty much the whole movie. He's just basically trying to come to grips with the fact that he's deaf, but he keeps fighting it. He obviously doesn't want to be deaf. He's a, he's a musician. I mean, he wants to go back to being a musician, but in all reality, he can't really go back to being that. And the whole movie's basically him trying to find a way to get back. But he can never get it back. And that's kind of like the sad thing about Because I'm a huge music lover. If you guys like are on my Instagram. Which you should follow. I'm a huge fan of music. I can't live without it. And I can't even imagine being a musician. And you can't hear anything. I mean granted like Beethoven was deaf. And he actually had to use the sounds of his. Like the thumps from his piano. To actually make his music. But other than that. It's pretty damn hard. To even like comprehend like what's really going on like he, in the cues and being a man it's just like i don't know what i would do in that situation either but this movie has a lot of points about like it's a little more of a self-growth kind of movie it's just more of like yeah shit happens but you kind of have to learn to accept it and sometimes 
maybe some good comes out of it. Like what he has to go throughout this whole journey of the movie. So another thing I have to mention that this is actually an Amazon movie. So I believe it's going to be streaming not that long from now. They're just like putting it out in theaters like in limited numbers. Like I saw it at Alamo Draft House. So I actually do really like this movie. It's actually really well made. It's a bit long. I do have to say. Um, near like the last 20 minutes, I was kind of like ready to like, okay, like let's get this over with. But other than that, it was actually really good. I liked it a lot. I would recommend it to anyone, not just like music buffs or like anything like that. It's actually a really good movie in general. So with that being said, I gave it a solid four out of five stars. And I think this is a movie someone, everyone should check out at least once, like especially music fans. And I think it's pretty unique and interesting. So that continues another Hellmouth at the Megaplex. I hope you like it. Um, like I said before, I'm actually doing a whole segment on my Instagram and my Facebook about how I post one CD and one record from my collection every day just to show off my collection. And this, that me doing that kind of inspired me to watch this movie also. But uh, yeah, so have a good one and I'll see you next time.